so you're looking for more creative shots for your video shoot. Have you ever wanted to create cinematic, smooth 360 degree video and not know how? I've just made this 360 degree video camera rig and this is the slow motion test footage from the camera, raw, rustic, warts and all, here in the studio. I'm Kit Fanner, professional photographer and videographer and digital marketeer. To help us make more videos like this, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this. 360 degree video camera rigs normally cost thousands, but I've made this one for under £180. But this could be a lot less as many media creators have many of these items like these. Let me show you how I made this 360 degree video camera rig. So we start with this lovely clean tabletop. So make sure it's nice and bit free as so that the dolly wheels can run freely later on. Now we have to find the centre point of the table. This is to ensure that when we actually screw the baby plate on top that the central stud is right in the centre. Make sure you check your measurements before marking out and screwing the plate down. Measure twice and secure once, otherwise our spin will be off centre. If using a drill driver like this, make sure that the torque setting is on a low setting as we don't want to over tighten the screws and for them to become loose later, as we will be swinging around really expensive camera equipment. Once all screwed in, just make sure that all the screws are tweaked to the right tightness. Now it's time to put the axle bearings on. There are two reasons for this. One, this will help the clamp spin freely. Secondly, it just lifts the clamp off the base slightly as a spacer, so the clamp doesn't rub or hit the base plate. The first bearing, make sure that the small balls are actually facing down onto the plate. Then the second bearing is facing up. Now place the clamp grip head onto the axle bearings. I've just tightened up the screw, then released it slightly, just to ensure that we have maximum support. Spin the clamp around to make sure it spins freely. Now make sure that the actual large rod holes are on the top side of the clamp. This is to ensure that it will be on the same level as the dolly and the super clamp setup. Now it's time to pop the arm rod through the top hole. Just make sure that the rod is level and securely tightened. Now attach a super clamp to the dolly. This is done by a screw thread under the dolly. Make sure that the open end of the clamp is facing forward. Tighten up the super clamp to the rod arm making sure that the handle is level or facing down as we don't want it to show in the camera. Adjust the angle of the dolly wheels so they are on a curve. The baby clamp comes with a rubber circular ring seal. Place this ring seal over the baby plate stud and down onto the clamp because the top of the stud has a chamfered end. I've used a 15mm copper coupler to slide over the top. Very carefully, just make a cut down one side, open it up slightly and place this on top of the base stud. This will then give the flange something to grip on shortly. Now we need to place a top plate on top for our product to sit on. I've chosen two bases, a wooden base and a mirrored base. On each of these bases, I've actually screwed or super glued a flange support holder. Each of them have a small screw to tighten up onto the stud onto the copper coupler. Place your chosen plate onto the stud and tighten up the screw to secure firmly. On the 3 8 threaded end of the rod arm, securely tighten the tripod head of your choice. I've chosen a joystick tripod head as this gives me much more flexibility and adjustment when needed. You can now also fit and test the camera, making sure that it's safe to do so with somebody holding the other end.
Just test it by spinning backwards and forwards. On the opposite end with the quarter inch screw, screw on the second super clamp with a weight attached. I've used an old dumbbell weight, but there are many different types of weights that you could use. Just make sure that the weight will counterbalance the camera that you have placed on the other end. Again, just test it by spinning backwards and forwards. There you have it. You've made your own 360 degree video camera rig. So let's test it out as I could do with a drink. So there you have it, with a little fizz on the top. Cheers! Thanks for watching, and please help us out by clicking the like button below, and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this.